deal. All right, test question first for the people writing this. Uh, can I get your name and spelling and title and position, all that fun stuff? You bet. Uh, George Brown, G-E-O-R-G-E, -E, and Brown is B-R-O-W-N. Uh, captain and spokesperson for the Oklahoma Highway Patrol. All right. You get pulled over, or you see those lights come on behind you. Um, maybe you've got a question about, you know, hey, with recent stories we've heard in the media, you know, like, is, is this going to be a bad situation or a safe situation? What are maybe some things you can do to protect yourself? Yeah, and I think that's a valid question. Many times people want to know what to do. Simply, what do I do on a traffic stop? Um, it's an uncomfortable situation for everyone involved, for the officer who has to worry about officer safety, and for the person, many times female, uh, who are stopped. So what to do, we suggest this. First and foremost, do your part and do what it takes to obey the traffic laws and not get stopped. We realize mistakes are, are made, uh, oversights, uh, maybe you don't know the location, whatever the reason, if you come into contact with the police, um, look for this uniform. You know, with the Highway Patrol, we're, we're all issued the same uniform on traffic enforcement. It has a badge and a name tag, uh, rank, this color of uniform with, with the patches and the insignia. All of our trooper enforcement troopers are in marked patrol units uh, with the map of Oklahoma on the side. Um, and if you're still uncomfortable, uh, we suggest that some people call, call or contact their local uh, OHP headquarters. You can star 55 and at least call in your location. They can tell you later if a trooper's in the area. Um, those are all good things. Okay. Um, so maybe the stop has already been made. Uh, maybe a trooper or officer you know, uh, brought you to their car or something, and then you, know, you feel like things are inappropriate or something. What, uh, what are maybe your rights you know, at, that, at that point? Yeah, know, know that again, this, this is a, a volatile situation in many cases. Uh, carry your driver's license and insurance in a place that you don't have to shuffle around. Uh, it's okay to crack your window a little bit where someone can't reach in or get in, keep your door locked. Uh, the officer or the trooper will contact you either by giving commands outside the car or at the driver or passenger side doors. Many times it's at the passenger side door. Roll the window down a little so you can hear. Um, in many cases, we don't ask uh, women out of their vehicles and back to the car. There are certain situations where we do that. If someone doesn't have a driver's license on their person, we ask for an ID or driver's license that they can't provide it. Rather than stand outside the car uh, riding, which puts us in a bad location, we may ask a female back to the car so we can get her information. Know that that video, uh, that that stop is being recorded from an in-car video camera recorder. Um, if, a, if a trooper in the middle of a contact reaches up and turns off the video, that would be of great concern to us. I want to tell you that supervisors throughout the state on the highway patrol perform routine audits of those videos that are required to be turned in weekly. Uh, when a video disc is, is full and with that week's reports, troopers submit it to their supervisors and supervisors audit those videos. Many times we receive false reports of uh, misconduct from, from a uh, person who may have said something happened or they perceived something one way. Supervisors look at the video and it didn't quite happen the way that they called it in. So that video is there for both parties, not only the law enforcement but the person as well. Um, I think the main message that we have is if someone feels uncomfortable uh, or they have questions about a stop, don't feel like that you can't or that you have the inability to contact us. We want people to call, especially, especially if they have a concern or a question about something during a traffic contact or contact with a trooper. Star 55 on your, on your cellular phone will get you through to the local troop headquarters. Uh, you can Google OHP on your computer or I'll give you the website. It's www.dps, as in Department of Public Safety, .state .ok .us. If you feel something was wrong or questionable during a contact, call immediately and notify a supervisor, a lieutenant or above, speak with them, and we'll gladly speak with anybody. We routinely receive uh, calls from people of everything, from just simple questions to questions of concern. And usually when we explain to them why something happened the way it did on a traffic contact, they get it. 
they know that police contact uh, literally hundreds of people a day. And when an officer or a trooper uh, first contacts that person, we don't know who we're stopping. So officer safety is of paramount. It's first and foremost during that stop. So there are so many variables to a traffic contact that we have to worry about to keep us and everyone around us safe uh, that sometimes um, language barriers or communication isn't quite there. Maybe we have to speak loudly over traffic and someone thinks they get yelled at. If you have a question, call in. We're happy to discuss it with you uh, and get a resolution. Cool. Um, and with stuff that we've heard recently, those are kind of the exceptions to the rule by and large, right? By and large, yes. I can't sit here and say that bad things don't happen. Um, I can tell you that there are 700 and some odd troopers throughout the state doing an honorable job in protecting and serving and that we have uh, service in mind, that we're out there to provide assistance to the public. Daily, we have troopers saving lives, rendering aid, changing flat tires, and doing the things that it takes to gain the public's trust. And I believe that the citizens want us out there doing a good job. Are there exceptions to that? Of course. Unfortunately, we deal with those as they come. But we keep an open line of communication with the public, and we encourage the public's uh, communication with us to let us know feedback and, and so that we can have at least the opportunity to answer questions and concerns. Awesome. Anything else that I missed? I think that's it.